Hey guys, Clumsy here. In this video, I'll be sharing how you can double clutch in ATS 1.6. Now with the latest version 1.6, they did add a feature where you can enable double clutching. Double clutching in itself is only applicable mostly for American trucks and very old vehicles. American trucks usually have unsynchronized manual transmissions when double clutching is required. If you go to Europe and look at their trucks there, even though the trucks are using manual transmission, most of them will use synchronized manual transmissions, so they won't really require double clutching. In the US, however, it's a completely different thing. So as part of uh, making things more realistic, making things more immersive, it's very good that SES enabled this double clutching mechanism so we can actually increase the realism in our trucks. Now what exactly is double clutching? Well, let me show you, piece by piece. Normally, if you just shift in a conventional car, let me just turn on the indicators here so you can see the gears. Can I shift here? All right. So normally in a normal car, in a modern car, even if you have a manual transmission, let's say you're in the first gear like so, what you just have to do is step on the clutch, go to neutral, go to second gear, release the clutch. Something like that, right? But that's only because the modern cars are using synchronized transmissions already. Now with unsynchronized transmissions, like for this truck, you would need to do uh, something of a more complicated matter. Let's say you're in the same scenario, first gear, you want to go to second gear. You would have to step on the clutch, go to neutral, release the clutch, step on the clutch again, and then go to second gear. Hence the term double clutching. Now, it doesn't seem that difficult, does it? Based on the, how that sounds. But in reality, in execution, there's more to it than that. It's not just about stepping on the clutch twice. The main difficulty is matching your RPMs. Let me try and uh, illustrate this to you. All right, so we're here somewhere in Phoenix along the highway. I turned off traffic, so it'll be much easier to practice just on a straight road like so. Easier to just focus on the shifting. Right? But before we get started, let's uh, discuss some prerequisites. First things first, you must have an H shifter. Now I have a G27, a Logitech G27 steering wheel that comes with an H shifter. So that's perfect. If you have a G29 and you've purchased a separate H shifter, that's fine as well. Or if you have a different brand, as long as you have an H shifter right here. Yeah, transmission is H shifter, should be. Next up, prerequisite number two, the shifter layout behavior has to be advanced. If it's simple, it will not require you to double shift, to double clutch, sorry and uh, it will be wasted. So you'll have to go to advanced to really experience double clutching, joy and beauty <laughs> and frustration for that matter. And then, even if you have those two, probably if you have an H shifter, you have it set to like something like that already, but the real magic happens when you turn on some parameter. Now this parameter can be uh, enabled or actually disabled outside the game or inside. I prefer to do it inside using the console. So basically, you go to G, you type out G underscore H shifter, and you tab that out. You'll see that there's an, a parameter called G H shifter synchronized. That one is by default one, and that's what enables the synchronization, like what you see in modern cars, modern manual cars. Now, if you want to mimic how an American truck feels like, put that to zero. And that's when the magic will happen. Now just to uh, demonstrate how ugly it can be, whenever you shift wrongly, you'll tend to hear these uh, awful grinding sounds. It might be also amplified and a bit changed because of the sound fixes mod that I have. But basically you should hear some grinding sounds if you shift the wrong way. If I try to shift a conventional manner like in modern cars, First gear, clutch, second gear, rip, 
Yeah, that's what we'll be hearing for the next couple of hours. If you're practicing double clutching, get used to that sound, because I certainly have. But the pain doesn't certainly go away. Let me go to first gear, and let me try to uh, demonstrate it first the right way. Now, the operating word here, the important word here is try. Because to be honest, I'm not a master of this technique. I only discovered the secret to it a few hours ago, and I wanted to share it with you guys. See? <laughs> so, it's not easy at all. But the concept is, go to the rev you want. Clutch to neutral, hold clutch, and then go to second gear. That's beautiful. No gear grinding at all. You guys hear that? If I try to go to second gear. Beautiful. Third gear. Going to fourth gear. Oh, that's wrong. It went a bit. It got a bit, a bit grindy and then when it went in. So that's how it would work yeah, until you master. Not grinding gears, but until you master double clutching. Now, unfortunately, I think this is a bit of a slope, isn't it? Because um, the added complication is the, the technique would differ if you're on a slope or if you're on a straight road. Let me find a straight road and uh, let's continue the tutorial. One sec. Okay, I think this straight bit of road works and the view isn't bad either. That's perfect. Alright, so let's get started. Now, let's go and check out. Go to first gear. Go to 1500 RPMs. Like that. I'm trying to maintain it. There. Now, if you shift a full gear, normally it loses around 400 RPMs when shifting to the next gear. So from first to second, if I'm at 1500 RPMs in first gear, I would then go to 1100 RPMs in second gear. Now, the hard thing about it is, when you shift, it's not automatic that it becomes 1100. You have to get to 1100 by yourself. And then when it's 1100 already, you get in to second gear. Now, how that happens in particular, let me try and show you. Operating word, try. <laughs> First gear, clutch neutral, clutch again, second gear. Perfect. Now it's a bit fast because the, the RPMs will fall fast so you have a bit of a limit there. But like I said, it's not about speed, it's about timing. It's not going as fast as you can, it's getting into the gear at the right RPMs. So let's try going from 2nd to 3rd now. From 1500, clutch neutral, clutch again, 3rd gear. So if you try and uh, take a look at there, there is a certain timing there. So from 3rd to 4th, Clutch, clutch, fourth. From fourth to fifth, this is where I usually fail. 1500, clutch, clutch, fifth. Actually, it works. Beautiful. And if you get the timing wrong, it, uh, it will grind for sure. Let's try to sixth gear. Let's try. Clutch, clutch, sixth. Wow, I'm actually able to make it work. <laughs> you guys are my lucky charm. Let's try going to seventh. Clutch, clutch, seventh. Now, just to prove that I'm on a double shift, uh, double clutch mechanism. If I go to 8th gear without doing the correct manner. Yeah? Grindy, grindy. Anyway, so that's working. Now the added complications. I did say it's 400 RPM for full gears. But um, for half gears, it's 200 most of the time. But those, that 400 and that 200 is for a very even road, like this one. If it's uphill, if it's downhill, things will change, you will have to adjust. And it's all depending on your speed and revs. So it's not fixed, it can get very, very challenging. Right? And what I showed you just now was upshifting. Downshifting is even harder. So downshifting, it's the other way around. So let's say I start in... Uh, second gear going to actually let me start in fourth gear let me go to fourth gear and let me hit around 10 10 1000 rpms like that now let me hit 11 just to be perfect now if i want to go and downshift to third gear then i would imagine at third gear i would be at 1500 then because that's plus 400 rpms right now to do that i would have to do it shift manually so I would have to go to neutral, go shift, accelerate manually, step on the gas, and then shift to third gear. Unfortunately, 
it's getting a bit uphill again so let me find a level road so that the instruction can continue with the, the least embarrassment possible <laughs> one sec all right i'm on the other side of the road let's try that again shall we so fourth gear let me go to 1000 rpms and let me actually 1100 rpm and let me try going to third gear what i'll do is i will clutch to neutral i will rev to 1500 i'll switch to third gear and it absolutely got wrecked there we go i was a bit off now if you don't happen to switch to the right gear don't lose hope don't go to neutral just let go of the clutch let go of leave, leave the gear there even though it's grinding leave the stick in the gear you want to go and try to correct your rpms like if you feel like the revs should be higher then step on the gas step on the accelerator increase the revs until you shoot your gear if you get what i mean so let me try and demonstrate that one more time wow <laughs> all right let's see fourth gear oh this is a bit uphill again i think so it's kind of difficult but let's see clutch neutral rev gas up and if it doesn't shoot just look for the right rpm and then it will eventually find it and it will the gear grinding will end the punishment will end okay now it's a bit more even again perfect now to be honest downshifting is a bit more difficult for me as you might have seen upshifting is a bit more straightforward downshifting requires a lot more manual work so from 1100 go to neutral step on the gas go to 1500 go to third gear okay now there was minimal uh, gear grind but you can make that even smoother if you practice now let's try going down to second gear right let me go to 1100 here go to neutral go to 415 go to second there we go second gear so and i when i say go to 15 i'm actually stepping on the accelerator there right let's go that do that one more time 1100 clutch neutral release clutch 1500 first gear yeah so it's i'm able to downshift although i'm hearing a bit of grinding noise so it's not perfect but it's working somewhat now let's try and uh, up shift again uh -huh. clutch neutral clutch second gear clutch neutral clutch third gear uh, you can you can time it there's a general timing that you can follow on a straight road clutch clutch fourth clutch clutch fifth and uh, clutch clutch sixth it there was a bit of grind there but minimal but you get the idea that's how it is most of the time and um, that's the very basics of it now you might have a question what if i skip gears like me i normally especially when i carry a light load i usually go from second gear to fourth gear now i, I don't know the answer to that unfortunately from second gear 1500 to fourth gear i would assume that's what two full gears skipping so that's around 800 rpms so maybe from 1500 to 700 maybe that will work let's try it out uh, let's get out of this uh, let's get out of this uh, uh, hilly bit first and let me try and uh, work on that again so there's a bit of grinding but, but as long as it shoots it's itself eventually I'm happy enough with that for sure more practice is needed but we're in the right direction at least we know the mechanics now so let's say second gear i want to go to fourth gear second gear i go to around 1500 rpms and then clutch neutral doesn't work it kind of works it kind of works i just counted wrongly let's try that again 1500 there we go it works so you'd need a couple of uh, additional computations there so if you want to skip one gear that means you multiply 400 times two yeah so 800 rpms would be lost so you would need to be kind of uh, familiar with math here with uh, your additions and subtractions but yeah personally i'm really having a hard time with uh, downshifting 
especially for example from here and then I break and then I would have no clue which gear I should shoot into I just basically pick a gear and pray just search for the RPM there <laughs> just rev it up rev it down until it shoots to the gear I'm in if you have any tips for me some of you might be experts here already do let me know right but yeah this is very this is a very good feature I would say this is the main feature that they introduced for 1.6 this is my favorite feature so far because it adds so much realism to the game double clutching is a, a thing now oh and yes by the way guys I can't believe I for almost forgot about this uh, the most important thing I could share the one I learned about a few hours ago from the SES forums so I've always been wondering, I've been practicing for a few days, I couldn't get the technique. And I, I showed it to you a while ago how it works, but explicitly I didn't explain it. So I said I would, I prefer to shift at around 1500 RPMs. So from 1500 I go to 1100 RPM, right? It's not really that I have to shift at the 1500, I just prefer it that way. The important thing is you shift by 400 RPMs for a full gear. Now what I wanted to share with you was what were you doing, what you should be doing when you reach 1100. So you go from first gear for example, you accelerate, go to 1500 like so, you step on the clutch, go to neutral and then you go up till 1100. Now the question now is what do you do at 1100 and this is the most important bit. At 1100 what you have to do is you have to step on the clutch the second time. You don't have to shift into gear at 1100, not yet. You just have to step on the clutch the second time at 1100 or whatever your target RPM is and then maybe a second later move into the gear you want. So the important thing is to step on the clutch the second time. That is the most important bit because doing that, you're locking the revs. There's some technical magic happening which I am uh, not too familiar about but that's what happens in the background so 1500 hopefully this works step step second so you don't really shift to second gear at 1100 you just step on the clutch at 1100 let's do that one more time clutch clutch third gear so i actually if you look at it i i shift to third gear at around 700 rpms way lower than 1100 because what's important 1100 you can't repeat this enough is to step on the clutch the second time that's the missing ingredient for me hopefully that helps you out as well guys but uh, yes that absolutely helped me out and at least i can shift passably now <laughs> now there is also the concept of floating gears but i guess the video is running long enough for that floating gears is a kind of a similar concept that you match your gears, match your revs to switch from one gear to another but you don't step on the clutch at all and I think if you ask a mechanic mechanics will never suggest you to float gears they will say you have to step on the clutch every single time you want to shift gears never float gears but realistically speaking uh, truckers do it from time to time but yes, in case you want to learn how to float gears, and this is much easier in, I, in my opinion than double clutching, do let me know and maybe I can make a video on it as well. But yeah, double, clutch, double clutching is a thing. And before I go, let me just try that one more time because I'm feeling brave. Hopefully I don't get embarrassed, but we'll see. Yeah, I totally did. <laughs> Not so much kind of works I just hope there was minimal grind you know right now I'm actually thinking of getting a mod to mute the grind set already because I, I know it's going to shoot eventually I might be uh, missing around uh, 100 to 200 rpms but it will get there eventually and I just don't want to hear the grind so if you know of any mods that can mute the grind sounds do let me know right because I think I would prefer that anyway <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that hope you guys learned something from that do let me know if you help if it helped you out and do let me know if you have some tips for me but yeah it just takes practice i've been practicing it for a couple of days and i 
recently found the secret thanks to a thread in a, the ATS SES forums. I've been uh, scouring the, that for threads for tips on how to do double clutching. I found it eventually. If you take a look right there now, you'll see I actually posted something. I was so happy when I discovered how to do it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you did enjoy and uh, found the video useful, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next ETS2 video or ATS3. Thanks and clumsy trucking guys.